broken eye. So usually what I do is I would do um, hook on the right side, hook on the right side, and eye on the left side, so that you know when you're wearing it yourself, you can just kind of go like that, and it really works that way. If you do hook on the left side, it's a little bit hard. So, oh, okay, right hook. <laughs> there are two different kinds of hooks. Do you see that? Is one better than the other? Not really. Um, you can use either one, whichever you like, which, whatever your personal choices, I guess, or your client's choices. I don't think people care that much about the type, but these type of hook eyes are used more when you're overlapping and underlapping the edges, like the plackets. This type of uh, eye works really well when your edges need to be right by each other because it has a little loop. So for this purpose, the, this one is going to work better. Okay. There are couture way of, there's a couture way of sewing hook and eye. What's the couture way? Yeah, we want to The know. couture way is yeah. to do the buttonhole stitch around the loop. So, which means, right? <laughs> this is something you will find on high-end type of garments. You go in here, you make a loop in front of your um, needle. You see how I'm, make, I'm making a stitch in from inside the metal loop into the fabric out there, mm -hmm. keeping the loop in front. So every single time I'm making a stitch, It's gonna make a nice buttonhole looking edge, like uh, a like nice coming, bird like edge. Coming through the mm -hmm. It's yeah. like okay, okay. French bracelets, you know, when they're like, whoosh. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? So okay. you're making a loop, <laughs> and then you go from. I'm very descriptive. You are. <laughs> here to coming out there. Your needle goes through the loop, and then you pull it away from you. Okay, I need that again. <laughs> So that's couture. And then you just keep going around the whole thing. Right, because it's going to sew around this loop first and then around oh. this loop. And then I'll show you what's a... Uh... In the professional world, are most hooks, hook and eyes hand sewn or are they all hand sewn? No, there are machines nowadays. That just like But mostly... Um, what do you mean professional? What did you say? What do you mean by professional? Like, you know, in the... Ready store. to wear? Yeah. So you mean couture is not professional? That's what I mean, like Let's that. Let's argue like on gap. that. No, I think that it is professional, but I'm just saying, like, in ready to wear. Yeah, mass in, mass market, in the mass production. market, in industrialized mm. clothing. Those can be hand done. So depends on where those are made. Most of the things that are produced overseas, labor is so cheap. Those can. You see how that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna just go right over the knot too? Which knot? Like the starting knot that you use to get in this there. This one? Yeah. It kind of gets blended in. Um, but you could just weave your fabric in and then do the knot. Though, this, time. this time because I'm switching to a different hole. So I'm going from outside so that that holds my stitch in place. <laughs> right? So now I'm switching because I'm done sewing around that. So then you're going to sew around this. I'm going to leave this for Dominique to finish on this. The like, oh, <laughs> ready to wear mass production way of sewing this is to just keep going back and forth and hold this in place. Okay. Did you get that? And then we do the same for the other side. For as well. for this as well, because then you have the same thing. Uh, just for the hook, you wouldn't do this for the eye. You also want to go ahead and make a stitch right underneath the hook. You see how it's kind of dancing oh, now? Yeah, have you cool. seen those? shirts and tops and dresses where I'm like, this hook does not want to stay down. Yeah, or mine just eventually pop off, mm -hmm. and then I safety pin the hook. <laughs> I just have a safety pin. That's a good <laughs> quality, that's a quality control I issue. I get lazy though with like little things. <laughs> that's a quality control can. issue. Yeah, if your hook is sewn first. very well, you want to wrap around the, the head of the hook, make a stitch in the fabric, go inside, Make a stitch in the fabric underneath. I get it. You see how it's sewn down now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
How many times do you do that? I would do like three to four times. And if you don't have that much time, you can always um, thread your needle so that you have four st strands to work with. I guess I'm not holding it close to me, so it's getting um, tangles and knots in it. Everybody got that part? Yeah. To where you will go this, like there. Like so 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 the first setup. eye and then hook wrap it around and then. No, you want to do both the sides. Um, I just w didn't want to do both the sides because do I want Domine to do her own since I'm showing on her skirt. Just seam rip it out. Just so like it's okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, right, so then she can continue with that. Do you see that knot? That shouldn't be there. That's not good. See, it, it's it's kind of yeah. sewn down now. It's really on there now. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this here, so that you can continue with that later. And I'm gonna show you how to do a thread eye.